All right. So after, <coughs> sorry, after a careful and very high levels of patience, um, you get this. Just a bolder outline of your already outlined piece. These two holes right here, I'm going to be punching out later. I guess I could punch them out now. But I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, so for the next step. is to bevel the whole piece. And I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm going to go grab something to eat. You guys should do the same. Alright, for this next bit, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Um, so for this next bit, I'm going to start beveling. Which means basically putting an angle to the cuts to get a more defined shade. So for every bold mark, like for these dark black things, right here, right here, even on the edges, all on the edges, um, I'm going to use this one, which is more of a, has more of an angle to it, and it's slimmer, so I could get into a tighter spaces and then for the bigger areas I'm going to use this one which is a little bit bowed and less of an angle so for probably the outside I'm only going to be using this and my leather is still pretty wet so I'm not too worried about that yet so I'm going to start on this side you want to take the angle, just barely put it in the, in the line, and just keep going along. Keep your taps pretty consistent too. And you can see already what it's doing to it. It's popping it out, basically. So I'm going to do a little bit more and then I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to always make sure that the tip of it is always in the line. this portion right here I always tend to like like the angle away from me so I can see where I'm placing the tip of the angle in. You hear that train going by?
And so for this area right here, in here, I'm going to uh, use the smaller one, just because it's a tighter space. Looks like it's also beveled on that side too. Looks like it's all just stamped. Stamped in. You know, I could just. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna stamp this whole thing in. A special special solution and it's just a flat punch pretty uh, thin too I don't know if that's focusing I bet it's not that would make sense And bam, just like that. I'm gonna do this one and probably that one, and then show you. And then I'm gonna get up here and finish this up because I'm getting tired. Some of these tight spaces you have to make sure you don't go uh, into your other lines. Which means angling. And if you do go into another line that you didn't really mean to, I think I almost did there, but that's okay. You could do. what I did over here, and then bevel another line into it, a bolder line. So you can't really tell. Anyway, so I'm going to go and do the rest of this, and I will see you back. I guess I will show uh, this part too, because this is my own style. I guess I take this uh, just a little blunted pointy thing and I just start very meticulously putting holes or craters if you will very small crater And you can see what it's doing. It's giving it a nice sort of background. There you go. See it? 
Anyway, so I thought I'd show that before I'm completely done with it. Bye!